praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is good to be on Christmas morning. It's good to be in church because everybody knows Christmas is all about Jesus. Jesus being born in a manger and this morning we're going to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. You know, it's a whole celebration when you come into the birth of Jesus Christ because you know, like if, if a child born in your family or a family member, you know, a child born, um, you always find everybody excited. They want to go and see the child. For one of the questions they ask, if it's a boy or a girl, how much power the baby was. And they ask different questions. And the mother well, if the child well. And these are the things people be very concerned about. They want to make sure the child born good, child did not born deformed and all that. But this morning we, we learn and we know a lot about our Lord Jesus Christ when he was born. He was born in a, in a place that was not suitable for human being. But you know what? Even though he was born in a place not suitable for human being, he was one of the most outstanding human being ever walked this earth. So it is not where you're born, it is not who is your mother, who is your father. That is that don't count. Is you being born by God, you being born by God, you being exalted, established by God and this morning we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna praise God. We're gonna praise God. We're gonna praise God for you know that for the joy that He has bring to us. God has bring joy to each and every one of us. And it's always good to this it's always good to have our Christmas message based on the birth of Jesus Christ, because what is more important? Because remember, if Jesus Christ had not been born, when we go through problems, when we go through the waters, when we go through the fires, who would we call upon? Not Jesus. So in order for me to call upon him, he must be born. He must be born. And I want to talk about this morning that he's born and he's alive. And we praise him. We give him all praise. We give him all honor. We love that drum side. We give him all honor. We give him all glory. Because he alone is worthy. Can we all stand this morning? Hallelujah. 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 Let's just lift our hands to God this morning. Father. Lord, we exalt you this morning. Father, we praise you. Father, we honor you this morning. Father, Lord, we worship you this morning. Lord, because you've been born in that major, Lord, you give us a second chance in life. Lord, you give us an opportunity, Lord. Lord, that we can praise you, Lord. You give us, Lord, an opportunity, Lord, that we can say, Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, you are worth more in silver, you are worth more in gold. Lord, you are worth more in anything else. Lord, in this world, why would Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, we run to you this morning, God. Lord, we praise you and we thank you. Lord, in this day, Lord, that we choose. Lord, to celebrate. Lord, you are worthy to the Lord in this day. Lord, that we choose, Lord. Lord, to lift you up this morning, God. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, you want to say hallelujah to your name. Lord, your Lord is worthy. Lord, your Lord is great. Lord, your Lord is awesome. And Lord, we love you so much. Lord, we praise you so much. Jesus, Father, we thank you, Lord. Lord, for that nature, Lord. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you. 
Lord of God, you was not born. Lord of the palace, but you born in a manger. And Lord, for this reason why, Lord, we know, Lord, that our God, Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, you see us and you know us. Lord, you know where we came from. Lord, you know who he is. Lord, you know us by name. Lord, you know us by number. And Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, we give you all glory. Lord, we give you all praise. Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, for you alone is worthy. Lord, for you alone is great. Lord, we love you so much. Lord, we bless you so much. Lord, there is no reward but you. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, thank you. Lord, for your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You may have your seats, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For this morning, we're going straight into our Christmas message. We want to welcome those who step in a little late. We want to welcome everybody. We go to the book of Matthew, everybody. The book of Matthew. Starting at verse 18. The book of Matthew starting at verse 18. And my topic this morning is that when we don't understand something, we cannot judge it. When we do not understand something, you cannot judge it. So we go to the book of Matthew chapter 18. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ come along, come about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. She already, she already gave Joseph her word that, you know, she loved him and all that. And I will get married to you. I will get married to you. But... They come together, but before they come together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. My topic this morning is that when the Holy Spirit is working in our life, a lot of strange things happen that you and I do not understand. A lot of strange things Hop, probably it's happening right now and it happened in the past that you and I can't understand. Because Joseph was supposed to be mar married with Mary, but she was found to be ch with child through the Holy Spirit. Now, the Holy Spirit, most people do not understand the Holy Spirit. Most people judge on human standard they're judged by what they know they judge by what they hear but they do not understand the working of the holy spirit in their life now the holy spirit will do some extraordinary things he will do some extraordinary things in your life in my life that you will not understand. Especially if you is accustomed living by the fleshly standard, you will not understand about the spiritual standard. Because when you are accustomed with a fleshly standard and God would through his Holy Spirit or by his Holy Spirit, you will not understand. You will be very confused. Now, Joseph and Mary, I want to believe that they were not very spiritual. From what the word of God is saying, they were not very spiritual because when Mary told Joseph 
that an angel of the Lord came and she was pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Joseph had planned to divorce her quietly. If Joseph had any knowledge about the Holy Spirit, he would have taken different. He would have known different. But he, he did not know. So he took the first human step. He took the human standard saying that you are pregnant and you are supposed to be married with me. I will divorce you quietly. And probably, I don't know if you went that far to say probably the person that you are pregnant for, you go married with him. That person was the Holy Spirit. She was already married to the Holy Spirit. She was already impregnant with the Holy Spirit and she was due for child. But I want to ask you a question this morning. How much of us, a lot of time, when the Holy Spirit working through other people and you don't understand you look and condemn, you condemn them. Or you look to get rid of them while the Holy Spirit is working in them. Because you do not understand, you do not understand what God is doing in their life. You know, I, I, you know, I always tell people, when the Holy Spirit is working in someone's life, you will find like all hell break loose. You will find like every devil they have inside of them is acting up. And at that time, you will say, this person, instead of this person getting better, they're getting worse. It's not that they're getting worse, God is showing up everything that is in their life. In order for God to deal with it, what he do? He show it up so that you can understand it and then he deal with it. So Joseph was a very confused man because Joseph did not have the experience or the knowledge about the Holy Spirit. I want to say within our own families this morning, when the Holy Spirit is working within our own family, sometimes we do not understand what is happening. Sometimes we quit to condemn, sometimes we quit, we quit to discard the person, sometimes we quit to say that person gone from bad to worse and that person is no good again but I want to let you know that when the Holy Spirit is working we need to have the knowledge and understanding about the Holy Spirit because if we do not have the knowledge and understanding about the Holy Spirit, we may do and we may say, like Joseph do, like Joseph say, I will divorce her quietly. Another word for divorce. He wanted to get the rid of her. He wanted nothing to do with her. Those are other words for divorce. So that he can find someone else. But he did not know Mary was the blessed one because Mary was not only blessed, there was a blessed one who is even greater than Mary that was living inside of Mary. That blessed one will be a man one day and he will save the world. A lot of times you will hear that we are pregnant with the Holy Spirit. 
You can be man, you can be woman. We are pregnant with the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit will get you pregnant. And when he gets you pregnant, listen, you have the child of God inside of you. And you want to speak out of what God has inside of you. You want to you, you want to pour out with what God has inside of you. Good morning, everyone. Good to be in church early this morning. Praise the Lord. You want to be, you want to, you want to understand why, why you are pregnant with the Holy Spirit. And you may affect people. You may not, you see, what you don't understand, you must not condemn. God may you be, God may be doing something in someone's life and you don't understand what God is doing and you might say that is the devil. It's just because you don't understand what is happening in the person's life. For instance, when you see people fall one time, two times, three times, you may say, that person will never rise up again. That person will never stand up again. That person keeps falling over and over and over. And that person, I have no hope for that person again. But I want to let you know, it's because the Holy Spirit is working in the person's life. The enemy keep throwing them down so that one day when that same Holy Spirit take a hold of his life and the Holy Spirit cause him to stand up, then you will say, I know that was God who was working in his life. That is the time you will not say, I don't know. I don't want to divorce the person. I don't want to condemn the person. I don't want to keep away from the person because now I know God was in the pit here. God was in the boat. God was in his life. say this morning people we have to understand that spiritual thing in order to understand spiritual things you need to be in the spirit in order to understand physical things you need to be in the physical because spirit the birth to spirit and physical the flesh the birth to flesh Let me ask you a question this morning. What about if Joseph had, had divorced Mary? What about if the divorce had taken place? What would have been Joseph's position? What would have been Joseph's condition? We would not have been preaching about Joseph this morning. We would have been preaching about Mary because Mary was already pregnant with child. The child was already in her belly. So we would have been preaching about Mary. And Joseph would have been nowhere in the pit here because of his lack of understanding, because of his lack of wisdom, because of his lack of knowing what is happening in Mary life. I want to tell you something this morning. We as human beings, we are so carnal. You know if somebody come in the church and they say they've been pregnant. All they have to say they've been pregnant. First thing you might ask them, what are you making a boy or girl? Second thing, 
You want to ask them if it's for their husband. You want to ask them that too. You want to ask them because it is in the back of your mind. Because human mind is so messed up. It is so full of all sorts of rubbish. It is so, and then after, when the child born, then you go and you're watching the child to make sure it look like the mother and it look like the father. That is the nature of human being. Is it true, people? You think every time the child born, you really want to go and see a child? You want to go and investigate? So that you can come back and have something to say. You might say the child look like the neighbor. That is true. That is true. Because human being is so carnal, they are so messed up, they judge by what they know, they judge by what they see, but I want to let you know, Joseph was judging by his own canal nature. And at that time, when he was judging Mary, Mary was in distress, Mary was in turmoil, Mary, she was like, she was like, I wonder, did God set me up? Did God set me up to be abused? Did God set me up to carry a bad name? Did God set me up? Just imagine, you asking the question if God set you up. Sometimes you and I ask this question. We are in church this morning. The God set me up to be in church this morning. I could have been somewhere drinking and drunk and dancing and whining. But the God set me up to be in church. Come on. There's a lot of questions we ask people. We ask a lot of questions, but it's only God to answer those questions. You don't understand something, don't judge it. John Hagee said, a black and white cow eat green grass, produce yellow butter, give white milk. But you can't understand it. But they do it. It happened. We human beings, we want to say, but how that can be possible? The cow is black and white. It produces white milk. It is green grass. Here the colors. It, it gives yellow butter. What it happened? The Christmas messages is that we need to know more about the mind and the thought of the Holy Spirit. We need to have knowledge about God Himself. What is happening with the person? We need to understand the person is praying and asking God, I want to be a better person. But how could you be a better person when God don't take out the old from in you? When the old is coming out of us, 
You don't come out just like that, people. When the oil is coming out of us, remember the old things is what we born with. So when you're born with something, you live with it. Until God said, enough is enough, and I need to deliver you from it. And when God started taking it out of you, we start fighting to hold on to it. You ever see a little baby? who started suffering her. And while that child started suffering her, you try to pull out the finger from she or he out, pull out the finger, and they started crying, and they drop in the ground, and they started crying, and they do it want, and they take the finger, and they put it back in the finger, in the mouth. It's the same way, people. It's the same way, I will tell you. It's the same way when God is delivering us. It's the same way. Give me a check. It's the same way when God is the Give me a check. It's the same way when God is delivering us. It's the same way we take it and we want to push it back down inside of us. We want to shove it on back inside of us because if a little child can want to put back that finger in our mouth, you think we would not want to put back those old things that we were born with inside of us? Do you really think, everybody? Do you really think? Traffic, traffic, traffic this morning. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah, come on. Hallelujah, come on. Come on, say like a minute, come on. Hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. 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 Good morning, Brother Rishi. Traffic in Londonville, road tight. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. This is Christmas. I have to compliment these people, everybody, when they come. This is a real traffic now. Bumper to bumper, you can move. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. The Holy Spirit will do strange things in your life that you will not understand what he's doing. You will not understand. And when you do not understand, you, we will be very judgmental. And because we are being judgmental, we will have to pay. We will have to pay the price for being judgmental. Joseph had not accepted Mary as his wife. I believe the wrath of God would have fallen upon Joseph. The angel of the Lord came and talked to Joseph. And yet, I don't know how much he really understand that what Mary was saying, it was for real, it was for truth. Joseph was a very confused man. And this morning I'm talking about, this is not only about being pregnant with a child. The Holy Spirit will empower you, the Holy Spirit will direct you, the Holy Spirit will guide you, the Holy Spirit will be there 
done for you. The Holy Spirit will tell you, go certain place. The Holy Spirit will lead you. The Holy Spirit will strengthen you. The Holy Spirit will carry you. But when you do not understand spiritual things, do not pass judgment. Do not pass judgment. Because the Bible says, to what measure you judge, you will be judged. To what measure you condemn, you will be condemning yourself. I tell you something, God ways. God ways is not Joseph ways. God ways is not Joseph ways. God ways was not Mary ways. Because I sure Mary thought she would have had to get married. And after she got married, well then she would have got pregnant and she would have had a child. But God ways is not Mary ways. God ways is not Joseph ways. God ways is God ways. Give him a big cup. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 Come here, son. Praise the Lord. Thank you. 